is going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new movie review. Today I'm going to be discussing fighting with my family. If you guys are new here, consider hitting that like and subscribe button for tons of early movie reviews, geeky content all around, and plus you guys can also check out Sandwich on Films down below for ways to get into advanced movie screenings. Fighting with my family is based on a true story about Paige, a famous wrestler throughout the WWE. Now, preference right here. I, I don't know much about the WWE. I, I watched some growing up. I had some friends who were really into it, but I never got super into it like they were. And I really have to say that I absolutely loved fighting with my family. Um, As someone who just loves inspiring true stories like this, it, it was very heartwarming and inspiring again. And charming to say the least really one of the big pros that i can give to this film is that you do not need to be a wwe fan at all you don't even have to really know anything about wrestling you can kind of just be like me and really much appreciate the story that's being told on the screen and walking out of this film i found myself having a totally new respect for the whole wrestling career and wwe arenas itself and the fans the people in it and even like the dedication that it takes to become a wwe star there's a lot to go into it that i don't think a lot of people kind of just look out onto the surface and there's a couple instances in this film where you do see that and there's great messages throughout the whole film where you really shouldn't judge a book by its cover and I, I love that this film really subtly put that through it within the script and the direction in here which is directed and written by Stephen Merchant a man who is one of the greatest like behind the scenes comedians I love everything this guy wraps his hands around and I think fighting with my family was a great way for him to delve deep into more of a dramedy but also touch on those comedic moments this film does have that dry comedy it has that British humor I think that British humor absolutely works to all levels I couldn't honestly imagine any other director or writer taking this on because really you get to see the true family you know at the end of the credits they do show some actual footage with the family and they everyone in here was casted great um you look at lena headley who plays the mother she's great nick frost plays the father he's great zach Loden, who plays the brother in here is absolutely great i love the story with how they had in him and the parallels that they took between Paige and him we didn't even talk about our main actress yet florence Pugh, who hands down I loved this girl back last year in Outlawed King. I wish she was more of it. And the fact that she is the center stage of this film is absolutely everything I could want for this actress. She is phenomenal in this film. She embodies Paige in every single light, in every single way, to the point where going back and looking at footages of Paige, it's like she literally is her. And there's so much dedication and passion that you can feel coming off the screen of her just chameleonizing herself, becoming this real life person. That's come to the best parts about a biopics and I have to give major shout outs and major props to Florence Pugh. Surprisingly enough, if you didn't know, Dwayne Johnson is also in here for some couple scenes and he has some good moments too, too. Some funny bits with him, but Vince Vaughn is actually in here and I wish they would have marketed him more because it was a nice surprise to see Vince Vaughn show up and I think he has a really good storyline throughout the whole film. Now, this is kind of where I get to my little bit of nitpicks in this film. The film is a little bit formulaic. I, you kind of know where exactly where it's going to go. Yeah, it's based on a true story. If I, but I don't know anything about WWE. I didn't know exactly how this was going to go towards the end. And it's formulaic. You, you feel the beats. You feel the moments. So this is the high point. This is the low point. This is the... <laughs> this is the rising action. This is the falling action. You feel it all the way around. That, that, that's just the truth. And this film succeeds of not just being a formulaic film, but a charismatic, charming, and bloody riot is because the film has some outstanding performances. It has a witty script that not just makes you smile, but gave me goosebumps throughout the whole entire film, inspiring goosebumps where I just wanted Paige to succeed. Now a new respect for the WWE to the point where now I actually want to go and watch wrestling, real life stuff with Paige, look more into her history, and I have to say this, I think there's so much more to her background history and what she is and what she's done for the league of women's wrestling, and I'd actually like love to see a sequel with Florence Pugh playing this character and extending more into this. I think this film could have even been longer. I would have loved for it to have been longer. It just felt like a short segment in her life, just the beginning of her wrestling career, and I know she had a very short career, but I'd love to see more of it. With all that said, I'm going to get fighting with my family an A-. minus really adored this film. It is one of the biggest surprises of the year for me. The trailer never really hooked me, and again, I'm not the biggest WWE fan, but man, oh man, I absolutely fell in love with this film, and I, I again, have a huge new respect for the WWE and the wrestlers all around there. So congrats to you guys. Congrats on this film. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on Fighting With My Family down below in the comments. It is going wide release this week, and I cannot wait to talk with you guys about this film. This is going to be a very interesting film to hear from you guys. Let me know if you what your guys' thoughts are on it. Did you guys like the 
the film? Did you hate it? Let's talk about it, of course. And uh, guys, of course, until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Stay classy. <laughs> We'll <laughs>